Hi, I'm Elise Chaffin, and I'm a junior at Waverly High School. This is our cheer! And this is my poem. And this is my poem, Pray. Every night, I pray these words. Dear God, I pray my family heals, and I pray that you help me not hurt so much. Every night, my hands were folded tightly, and tears streamed down my face, but more people kept leaving. I lay awake at night, feeling, en feeling empty to think that there was a whole world out there, and for some reason, God had left me. He had left me when I needed him most. I attended more funerals than Sunday masses. Churches seemed like a reminder of all those times. I was forced to say goodbye, the words drawn from my throat like an exorcism. The sturdy walls of the church used to feel at home, but the stones soon turned to concrete and my sanctuary into a tomb. I recited the Lord's prayers to myself. When I felt I couldn't bear the desert anymore, but my walk lasted a lot longer than 40 days, and I heard not even a whisper from the heavens, so I let myself fall. I stopped looking at the ceiling and seeing God. I saw disappointment in every prayer and lies in every cross, poked holes in every story I was told. I turned the homilies into fishnets. I got caught in them and they dragged me further away from the soft sands of the church. I drowned in the priest's words because I found no truth in them. If God could hear me, then why did he let me cry every time I saw a ballet slipper or feel sick to my stomach every time I heard the word gun? I spoke not a word to anyone. I just assumed they wouldn't understand. I sat silent in the back of the church, hoping to find peace where I used to, but now in the silence, all I felt was empty, hopeless. I refused to go to confession, to get down on my knees and spill the truth to a God who I didn't know if I believed in anymore. I still, I still muttered something that resembled a prayer. But this prayer was more pleading than praying. I begged God would save me from disowning him once and for all. I looked into those plastic eyes of the crucifix I had on my wall and I told him, I can't do this anymore. I laid down and my faith died right there in his hands. I did not rise after three days. I was numb for two months. The day before Easter, my mother asked me to go to confession. I couldn't force my legs to move. My mother looked at me like I was Judas. God broke me in her hands like bread and she held me like I was holy. She wiped my face and told me I was not broken. Just because I lost my faith didn't mean it wouldn't come back. My mother's words calmed my seas. I reclaimed the holy land as my own and I built a temple out of every prayer that went unanswered. Every prayer that made me feel unheard because these prayers taught me how to grieve. How to love those who don't give you reason and how to have patience for answers. So now when my world is spinning out of control, I can find a church and feel at home. Woo!